Nathan, uh, 10th consecutive victory in coming on Friday. Yeah. Have you any predictions for the fight? I do feel I'm going to knock him out. Yeah, I just I feel I was doing, doing a lot of research on, on his book. Well, kind of research. His last fight was a year ago when he lost by TKO. Uh, but I just see, seeing so many openings. He leaves his chin in the air. He comes forward. He's you know he doesn't protect himself in the way he should. And at this level, at this stage of, of, of the of the game, you know what I mean. You can't be making them mistakes. And I do feel that. You know, all the work I put in with my boxing coach Stephen O'Rourke the last world, all the work I put in with my coach, uh, MMA coach Dave Roach, you know, we, we, we really like, tuned up the striking a lot and I do feel that, you know, all the openings he leaves for me, if I don't take capitalise on them, I'm just shy, you know what I mean? Because I feel like I'm at a certain level now where I have to be putting lads away who are making them mistakes and, you know, the more you rise to the top, the, the, the more holes that you, you have, the more you'll be found out. And I'm just really happy to show, I get another opportunity to show that I'm at a certain level. And when someone is making them mistakes or asking them holes, I can, I can really show it and, and, and put them out, you know what I mean? Yeah. And obviously, this, this fight on Friday is under the banner of Bellator, but your future lies with PFL. Do you have any idea what PFL's plans are for you in the, going forward? Um, no, no idea as of yet, you know what I mean? I, don't, I think they don't, they, like, a, like from, a, from a personal standpoint, I don't think they really wanted to talk about anything like that until it was all said and done because it can really distract you from the task at hand. And like I have, regardless of what way I think the fight's going to go, I have, a, have someone to fist fight with on Friday night. So I think they were happy with me to, to you know, get this done and then assess what happens because, you know, if you're, you know, if you're, even in, from the likes of their, their perspective, they don't want to disrespect me a pound and overlook them and start planning already. Even when I fought on that Challenger series, I was talking to Greg Savage when I was over there and I was like, this is before I fought, and I was like, Greg, I want to be fighting on that Paris card in June when they went PFL Joe uh, uh, Paris card last June or Berlin. I was like hitting all these ideas at him and he was like, really relax, win, 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 win tonight and do your job, you know what I mean? And, yeah, we can assess, so I think they just like to take it one step at a time, which you know I'm happy with as well. Sometimes I get a little bit, a bit ahead of myself and I get a little bit hyper and eager, so yeah, I'm happy to just take it one fight at a time for now and kind of go with the flow and see what happens next day, you know what I mean? Okay, thank you. Cheers. Ned, you mentioned 